just to start in by hand. I, this is going to be an excellent fit for a cutlass bearing. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to break this uh, inside leading edge, both ends, uh, just so it's not a real sharp edge. set screw holes in here and uh, we'll get over there in the bridge port and we're going to put the two set screws in there. Then we're going to attack the uh, uh, the flatness of the palm. We need to increase that and we're going to get that in the hydraulic press. Okay we're uh, going to lay out our set screw holes here and this is this is our bearing. It's not uh, the full length of our stainless bore so you know it comes out about down to here. We want to put two set screw holes in here kind of spaced equally on the bearings. So we're going to pick, uh, I like about an inch and a half in here. And an inch and a half up from where the bearing will be sitting over here. Alright, now we, we're we going to drill these by hand or by eyeball. Uh, the, the, the mill will be our drill, but we're going to go ahead and mark them, center punch them as if we were freehand drilling them. We're just not going to use the uh, pistol drill. Um, now we want them to visually look like they're down the center of the uh, tube there. And this is my little trick that I like to uh, get me right there in the center mark. And a uh, little Sharpie uh, juice on there. Alright, now we know we're level here. We've, we level all of our machines and we got two 4x4s and this is setting on here. And I've got a level here. So I'm going to take my square and I'm going to hold it to where my bubble is level and then slightly tip it towards me and then draw it towards me okay and what that does it puts a line right through the sharpie um, that I laid out on here now I take this is one of the old timers uh, uh, neat tools and I really like it it's just uh, uh, a little scale clamp let you clamp a pair of them on a scale and you can position them uh, they can also fit numerous sizes of scales okay these two blocks here clamp let you uh, set your scale on the shaft and it holds it parallel with the radius of the shaft so your scale is always going to give you a straight true line all right, we take that little line that right, right there, and we go ahead and put our crosshairs right there. Now there is our two set screws, and they'll visually look like they're centered, nice and uniform. getting ready to put this in a press and we want to just lightly install the bearing here and 
we kind of sometimes they twist, but we just try to get the flutes somewhat lined up. All right, we got it up here in the press, and we got clearance all the way around. Is there a spot there? We are tilted slightly that way as far as our squareness, and we know it will come down on here. We just want to make sure we get good alignment before we push it on home. Okay, we just took the minor diameter of the the minor diameter drill, drill size for the quarter twenty, came down, put a slight little dimple into the bronze bushing in both of those uh, bores there. Not that uh, we we felt our press wasn't sufficient enough, just this is the safety for the safety. All right, we got uh, the center of our table. We lifted that section out and we set up some uh, uh, heavy plating and parallels here. We've taken ball bearings and set them into each of the countersink holes. There's four of them in there. And this is our jig fixture. And you can see how much the palm actually flattened back out uh, from the welding and we're going to attempt to push it back uh, actually we want to go just a little bit sharper than this right here because we just fit this to the wood one and uh, we got kind of the the feel of what we need to have there and uh, we're going to give it a try this is just an old pusher that we made a very long time ago and uh, works out handy in a lot of things just like this now and uh, we'll see this in here again we've got a skag that we're going to be joining to this on the bottom and he's laying that up now uh, but now he'll have he has his rudder done now the uh, strut we'll be working on the skag next <laughs>